We all remember this game and the memes about it. Oh, the memes. So, I'm sure some are wondering about two years after launch, is the game functional? Well, there are different parts of the video and if you're interested in anything in specific, you can use the sectioning on the video timeline below to find what you're looking for, but you don't have the attention span of a Davy Crockett, right? You can watch the entire video, good boy or girl. Alright, number one, gameplay. Gameplay wise, the game is playable now. You no longer have bugs that destroy your entire playthrough. The difficulty is a bit funny to be honest, if you don't play on hard, you're a bit of a child. Ah! Like, this game has been such a cakewalk, the only thing is, there is an incentive to do side missions for levels, since Cyberpunk is an RPG. Now where are the dragons? On the topic of side missions, most of them were worth it. Most of them. I do enjoy the weapon play. You are offered a variety of things to decapitate enemies with, and a few slots, but in my opinion, you should only have two weapon slots, at max three, to give more thought on loadout. This could change a bit more emphasis onto the different strategies of the game. I would not compare Cyberpunk to games like Borderlands where it's good to have a lot of pow pow sticks at hand. In Cyberpunk, although ammo can be a reason to have variety, it's not nearly as important. Plus, you can punch them and craft which is the next mechanic. To be honest, never bothered to learn it. Look, it's cool and all that you can make good weapons, but you gotta pour points into that, and I'd rather just be good at using crappy weapons for high damage. Plus, I'm swole. Uh, I started as a nomad, by the way, and the first mission had me go outside of the map. Then I had to get over to some radio tower to intercept and uh, talk to some dudes. Then I had to drive to some other place and talk to a different dude. And of course, after I finished talking, I stepped on my car and the mission reset. But the car was at the end of the mission when the mission reset. So I went halfway through the mission on foot. The game realized something is off midway through and sent me back. I was so confused! Alright, two, overall thoughts. I love the aesthetics and the world building. The theming is actually pretty cool. A post-apocalyptic sci-fi. The game takes place somewhere after some sort of calamity where the world is very separated. If you take the nomad route, like myself, you will see what the outside world is like very quick. But later on, you get the option to do so yourself. And although the city itself looks glamorous, it shows a dark side. A dark side you slowly tip yourself into more and more. Uncover what Night City really is. I really love this. By how I explain this, you can probably tell I'm invested in the game, but immersion gets tough with broken games. And here is where things get hairy. The game is still a bit broken. Although yes, you no longer get soft lockets in an elevator, you can still find yourself getting headshots from behind cover, while the interaction bit has an A-posing person running around or starting a sneak mission flying into an enemy with your car. Here's a completion of that, by the way. Additionally, I had no idea where to go during the mission, so I eventually ended up googling it. But my favorite part had to be the interrogation cutscene. Then I ran off to catch a tank, and in the most indirect terms possible, I made happy inside of the tank. The funny thing here is that my character is actually a guy. Fully. But they have a woman's voice because they thought it was funny. 
So everyone treats me like a girl. <laughs> anyway, as long as the bugs don't destroy your game, I would say it's fun. Best part, the aesthetics fit perfectly for the bugs. Everything's intentionally buggy already, so you won't be able to tell if there's a problem. Like the constant fucking frame drops. Oh look! How uneven it is! Oh, and whenever you drive a car there's no telling if the radio will work. And why the hell are people leaning backwards? Alright, mid-producing Draggy here, I completely forgot to mention one small topic. Should you buy the game? Let's face it off a few things. First-person shooter, do you like first-person shooters? If you like them, then you probably will like this game. Do you like games like Borderlands and stuff like that? It has a small emphasis on the RPGs, but it's not that crazy, so you don't have to really take too much look into it. The main thing is the theming, I think, that would determine if you like the game or not, which is... As I've told you before, post-apocalyptic sci-fi, so base it off of that. Although I could probably talk more, I have a feeling that we have surpassed the uh, GSR 3 minutes. Uh, it may be getting close to the end of my video game reviews in general, but I'm not sure and there's a definite high chance that I'm going to make a best video games video, so look out for that. Oh, and uh, I forgot, uh, I'll give Cyberpunk a 6 out of 10, honest but fair. I still like it, but it's stupid.